Hey everyone, Christina here. Welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, how can you build your list or community? So in the last video, I was talking about how to collect data from groups, surveys, focus groups, so that you can build content. Well, now what we're gonna do is we're going to take that content and transform it into something amazing for your people. So let's go. All right, so after you've collected all the data that you found, you know, through the focus groups, through the surveys, and through just researching and social listening online, you're gonna start brainstorming ideas on what you can create for your people. And I would think maybe the first thing to start creating is a free resource for them to download. And I, what I mean by that is something that, you know, solves a, a problem or a mindset shift. So through the discoveries of all the information that you found, is there something in there that you can start with to build an audience from that freebie? So the free resource that you build could be a worksheet, uh, it could be a guidebook, it could be a video. Um, you can get really creative with it. It doesn't have to be a PDF. You can get really spe like spectacularly creative with it. You can throw in other different things in there, but you want to solve this person's problem. That's the question here. You, you have to ask yourself, how does this uh, resource solve this person's problem or shift their mindset? So that's a really key question to ask yourself when you're designing and brainstorming for this free resource. And other great ideas that you can use for providing you know something free to your people is maybe a journal prompt an activity that they can do on their own time you can look to uh, books like free tools to uh, share with them so maybe there's a book because i know that you guys love reading maybe you can showcase a book that you read that you can recommend to them or maybe um, something that you've read in that book that you can bring to the table um, through a different light. Maybe there's something there. So there's a lot of different things. I think tools is a good one as well. So if there's platforms that you use or apps that you use to help you know, relieve anxiety or maybe there's an activity that you like to do and you record yourself doing it um, and then you, uh, you know, replicate it into a resource pack for them that they could use on their own time. Again, be creative with it. You don't have to follow what everybody else is doing. It's more about listening to your people and kind of what they want. All I can say is uh, just don't give too much away, right? You don't want to um, like really, really show off too much stuff for free. It's just something that, you know, can help them solve a problem quickly or a mindset shift. That's really it. You're not giving them the whole farm. You're only giving them like little pieces of the farm because the whole idea here is for them to follow you, right? So whether you have this list, um, like this email list set up and the people have to sign up to download your free resource, they will be automatically put onto your email list. So that's just something to keep in mind that that's a tactic that everyone's using now where you provide value to them. They're intrigued by the value and encouraged to sign up to join your list and to get that freebie. And that's just a way of building trust and the know you, like you, trust you fact. Once you have this freebie put together, what you want to do now is to really market it really well. So you want to create an IG post or a wheels video or a YouTube short about it. Um, share it to your channels, 
you want to really make it interesting, right? So if uh, you're trying to create graphics for it, I would, you know, take a picture of the freebie and, you know, a nice product shot of it because if it's a booklet, maybe lay out the booklet on a table with I don't know, some flowers or creative supplies, whatever you feel is going to really look, make it look good, do it because the imagery, you're, you're going to have to sell this, right? You want them to, to be intrigued. You, you want them to download it. That's the action, right? So use really good words too when you're setting everything up online to post it, right? So use words that they can resonate with. So if it's something that they want um, and, and there's a headache that's coming up, address the headache and translate it into, you know, a desire that they want to feel. So this will make them feel, you know, calm and relaxed and organized. So that's some things to think about when trying to make this you know, free resource. You also want to share, you know, the free resource in your Instagram bio and all your other bios um, because you want to sprinkle it everywhere. <laughs> and I mean this, um, you know, not crazy, but dabble it in places, you know, that would spark curiosity. So put it in the bios, put it in some of your posts. So say if you have like an image slider carousel in one of your posts. Maybe that end post would be, you know, download this freebie if it relates. So if that post relates to your free resource, close it off with, hey, you know, download this. The link is in my bio. And that might encourage them to join, right? So get playful with this. You don't have to follow those actual rules just explore, right? You have different platforms than what I would use. Maybe there's other places that you show up online that might have to be tweaked in order to try to market the piece. You right? can share the free resource in groups. It's just you have to be very careful because it is a promotional piece. Um, so be very careful when you're approaching a Facebook group, read the rules before you start posting anything or else you're gonna get banned and it might not look good. So read the rules, cause sometimes they say that Mondays you can promote and you can always ask the admin in the group. But if that's not the case, if there's no promotions allowed, all I can say is be active in the group, really listen to what the conversations are, are being had within the um, actual group itself. And if anything in that group sparks a relation to your free resource, I would contact that person directly and say, hey, you know, I hear, you know, you're going through this. I would suggest trying this out and see if that helps you. You can also post them in the comments too, in the groups, but don't get spammy. You have to be very strategic how you selectively place your free resource. Um, you don't want to look spammy. That might not look good uh, to, like, to you as a person and the group might perceive you differently. So we want to keep things positive. If uh, your email uh, list is built, so if you guys are choosing the route of building an email list, and connecting your email list with the free resource, I would suggest that you build a landing page for this free resource. So the landing page should have, you know, the big header, uh, like a really catchy title, and then a description about, you know, what they're gonna get out of this free resource with an email and a name, and then uh, a button to, you know, say download now. And then that will help to really spark some more curiosity because you want people to come to a landing page when they download the free resource because they're going to be automatically added to your mailing list. So you don't really want to just send them 
the actual document. I mean, you could if you feel like that's going to be beneficial for you because usually in the free resource, at the end, you normally provide your contact information saying, you know, thank you for, um, you know, picking up this booklet and uh, here are places that you can follow me, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You can join my, you know, Facebook group for free. Here it is. So it depends how you want to run it. But for an email list, you just want to set up a landing page and then make it look really nice make it look attractive to get them to download so yeah that's pretty much it that's really um so that's all for this video today and i hope that i covered everything and that everything was clear to you in terms of how to create a free resource because all the data that you found you want to put it to good use even if you don't have an offer on the table yet, you can start building free resources that maybe will spark a, an offer, a possible offer that you can bring to the table for your people. There's so many ways that you can uh, work with this, but this is a great way to start because you want to start building your list of people your audience so that you have an audience to talk to when you're selling an offer or a product or a service whatever you are doing within the business you have people that support and are excited to see what you're going to bring to them so that's the key here and so just to sum up everything so you collect your data you take the data, you brainstorm some ideas on free resources. I would say three, don't no more than five. Um, and these free resources is either going to solve a particular problem that came up in any of the focus groups or surveys or mindset shift that was coming up in any of those discoveries. You're going to craft that resource whether it's like a, a PDF, a video, whatever you want to do, you're going to craft that, make it look really nice. And then you're going to build a landing page so that it has an attractive header and a descriptor about what this person is going to get out of this offer or out of this free resource so that there's benefits there. And, you know, what are they going to feel like after, you know, reading this or trying out this freebie? And then the person's going to be added on your list after they download that. So that's something to keep in mind. And then what you want to do is once you have the resource put together, everything's ready to go, the pages, landing pages set up, you want to share that to all of your social media platforms in your bio in some of your posts maybe do an actual post of the um the freebie itself because that could be attractive too enough that it will stimulate them to download it and find an engagement within the resource that you gave them so that's pretty much it for today's video. So I hope that was helpful and that cleared up anything that was maybe on your mind about, you know, how do I build an audience? But it's right here, um, either a list or a community. You start small by bringing in small timbits of value to them. That's how you build trust and that's how you build relationships. So thank you so much for tuning in today and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Keep smiling. Bye.